Hello all Contava users. Welcome to an another video on Option Dynamics or in short you can say ODX Indicators. ODX is an add-on so you need to subscribe Contava Advanced Package and then you can also subscribe the add-on. Uh, advanced Package is compulsory here. Once you subscribe the Contava and ODX Package, you can use the ODX Indicators. This is a tutorial video and here uh, we are going to talk about one of the ODX indicator. ODX has many indicators but we will be talking about the time stats notifier. This particular indicator helps us to track the order flow data points and also helps us to filter unusual volume or if there is any big delta. So let us check how you can apply this indicator and create uh, filters uh, where you can highlight such candles now let us take an example this is on 23rd january you can see there was a really big movement here and uh, let me just also highlight this candle with the arrow so if you can see here uh, there was a really big volume coming really big volume okay compared to the if you see the last three candles or the average volume is around three to four thousand uh, less than even 3000 okay but there was a really big volume okay and the delta was around 2250 in case you do not know the delta you can attain the order flow webinar or you can check the order flow webinar which is uh, already available on youtube you can also see the percentage of the delta was uh, quite good so usually a uh, delta percentage around 25 percent is a decent one so i want to highlight this candle maybe this can help me to understand uh, this I can create a, a filter where I want to highlight such candles and I might be checking any other data point also. Okay, so to apply the ODX time stats notifier, one needs to add indicator, right click and add indicator, or you can simply click on this button. Uh, here you will search ODX. You will see here uh, the option dynamics indicators, and there are many indicators. We are going to check the ODX time stats notifier. So double click on this and by default it will open the settings uh, there will be one pop-up which is the settings where you can write your conditions you can give a name so this is a say suppose i want to buy i want to this is just for example i want to buy where uh, this is my buy setup okay i'm just giving a, a name okay so this is a buy setup so i will uh, add my conditions so one of my condition is that a delta has to be greater than uh, 2000 okay i'm just giving a rough number okay rough value so there are a lot of conditions okay where you can choose greater than equals to less than uh, so i'll choose a greater than here okay so this is the buy setup okay in case you are looking for a sell setup you would be looking the delta value less than or equals to okay less than or equals to here you have this option and you have to put the value in negative so i'll check the uh, greater than or equals to and my value is say 2000 okay 2000 delta this quantity is in lots remember uh, if uh, uh, the contour has by default uh, lot display quantity in lots enabled so you, whatever the uh, data you're seeing here is in lots okay so to check in quantities you simply multiply by uh, the lot size okay or you can just untick this and it will show the show in quantities okay all right so uh, this is my first condition and my another condition is that the delta percent has to be 25 percent or above so here uh, the delta percentage is 25 percent and above in case you want this to be in between okay or not in between so there are many uh, conditions are there these are uh, these are the advanced concepts of order flow so in case if you have not attended the advanced order flow you need a compulsory subscription of one tower uh, we time to time conduct the advanced order flow uh, session uh, it is only by invite and you need to have the one tower subscription in that webinar we only talk about that how one looks how one can track the unusual activities uh, we're going to discuss about the exhaustions, absorption, a lot of things we discuss in uh, on those uh, webinars. So you can attain and it will be really helpful for somebody who's a out of flow trader uh, or learning out of flow. So uh, third condition is the volume. So I want the volume to be greater 
then or equals to above 5000 okay remember that these are with respect to the time frame so we are checking 5 minute time frame here these are my conditions and uh, if i scroll down below there are many data points i just want the only these three auto flow data points so i can click on the execute but before that uh, i can also highlight that uh, how i want my uh, highlighting color so i want this to be say uh, blue i'll just type here blue okay so the brightest you can you can choose the brightness of this and also you can align uh, align the label so i'll just i want to align it on on the right side also you have an option so alert is enabled by default but you can also enable the pre-alert so pre-alert means say suppose your conditions are met and you want the alert to be uh you want the pre-alert which which may be 20 seconds before the can before the candle closes so you can just type your uh, a pre alert okay so uh, this could be from 59 seconds to uh, anything around uh, maybe 5 second okay so you can you can select because uh, once uh, the say the candle is about to close okay and 20 seconds are left and you have put the pre alert of 20 seconds so you'll get a you'll get a pre alert and then if the conditions are met you will get another alert that okay conditions are met in case the conditions are not met because it is possible uh, the candle is not closed yet okay uh, pre alert is to you know to to uh, so that you know that okay my conditions are uh, are meeting and maybe i have and maybe you have to take a trade okay so because uh, it's a very uh, quick game trading in futures or options you have to be very quick in scalping okay so yeah so here you can uh, define your uh, pre alert uh, settings uh, for now i'll just disable this uh, so i'll just enable the alert so i'll get an alert and also it will highlight the candle okay so this alert will also come on the telegram if you have uh, if you have already i'll just show you so you have an email option and telegram make sure that your uh, panel chart panel is open so you'll get an alert on your telegram if you have the telegram on your uh, system you just uh, click on get id just type the id number here okay and connect all right so yeah so these are my conditions and i'll click on the execute button now this can also use for the backtesting purpose so here if the market was live it will give an alert but wherever the conditions have met it will also highlight that so you can see my conditions were met here as well and here okay so you can see okay now obviously these are i'm not saying that you have to trade based on this data i'm saying that you can highlight such conditions you will get an alert now you may do your own research and find out the right values that works for you whatever your conditions are it will show here so you can see delta greater than 2000 a uh, percentage has to be 25 percent and the volume is above 5000 okay so this is also uh, explained in the order flow advanced order flow session so make sure you do attend the advanced order flow session and the telegram uh, we have uh, shared the telegram link in the comment section you can uh, check there and join our telegram channel Contower india okay so uh, so this is one of the condition you may you uh, once you attain the webinar we'll be talking about another conditions which could be uh, exhaustion condition or maybe a cell setup there are a lot of conditions that you can create okay so i've just i'm just showing you a very rough idea that how you can use the odx time stats notifier you can highlight the colors here but you want an alert and you also want you also maybe want to do the back testing okay or maybe highlight it directly on the candle all those can be done using the ta odx time stats notifier okay this was just the one condition uh maybe i'll just do one more say i want to highlight a very unusual uh volume okay so uh, say suppose i want to highlight volumes not very unusual but let's say eight thousand okay and i want it to be highlighted with the yellow color I'll choose the brightest yellow okay and that's it so i'll click on the execute button here remember that always execute your condition you can create hotkeys for this so you don't have to uh, write all your conditions every time uh, there's the option to create a hotkey you can attain the webinar and you will understand or simply just right click go to the settings and here you have an option to create hotkeys okay so you can create hotkeys to add indicator and you can add this particular indicator with your 
predefined settings okay so you can see now it's highlighting the uh, candles which are which has a volume of 8000 and above right wherever there is volume obviously something will happen and this is the first candle so we are usually interested in the candles which are uh, you know not the first candle but after that okay because obviously the first candle will always have a bigger volume uh, but you can see that here there was a volume of around uh, 10,000 plus okay you can see on this day market was quite active okay there was uh, there was a really a big moment here momentum on the downside and then upside so yeah so this indicator can be used in a lot of ways not just not just these conditions when you click once you click on this you can create a really uh say, say you you can create many conditions because you have an option say let's say i want the delta which 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 is uh which is around uh above uh 25 but uh less than say uh 40 percent okay uh in 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 some stocks or uh stock features where you know you want the delta to be in between certain values you do not want a really big delta you don't want the delta to be very small so a lot of filters can be created okay you can use between not between you can uh, here we are talking about between uh, or you can uh, use equals to this is not really very useful uh, because hardly it will equals to the value <laughs> you will put but yeah so uh, uh, you can use the time stats notifier to filter out your uh, conditions and you will get an alert okay so this is one of the odx indicators however odx has many other indicators uh let me just show you and we will be showing we will be uh uploading the tutorials on all the odx indicators so uh do check out the youtube channel uh every now and then we will be uploading a lot of odx uh, tutorials uh, in english especially uh we have all we have also already uploaded the videos in hindi as well see so in case you want to check the videos in hindi you can check okay just check the odx playlist all right so i hope this was helpful uh to understand that how one can check, track the order flow uh data points uh we'll be back with another video uh on the odx uh, and the contour soon okay thank you for watching